Hello friends, welcome back to my student blog. In this uh, Zerito uh, series of training sessions, so we'll be looking at uh, how to install Zerito uh, on a Windows box. So, <coughs> so this is the uh, this is the uh, like a diagram where uh, you are able to see one two sites. One is production site. One is a DR site. So the requirement for this is like uh, we need a vCenter, uh, two uh, ESXA boxes and a couple of VMs running and uh, we have a uh, vDisk like a uh, vCenter connected uh, uh, to a storage. So and uh, we have the same like uh, a vCenter with uh, ESXA boxes and uh, a storage. So whenever you install a zero to installer, uh, on a, on a windows box uh, it will deploy a uh, like a, uh, you will get an option to uh, in install a vra uh, appliance on your esxa box so we'll look at it uh, in the next series of session so these two sites uh, will be replicated over the van so now if you have uh, two esxa boxes uh, if you install uh, uh, Zerito it will deploy two VRAs like uh, one on each ESXi box if you can you can see the same here also so what happens is uh, when you when you add these VMs in a protection group and uh, start replication that will be replicated to the DR site so while configuring the Zerito VM so ZVM we call it as ZVM or even Zerito VM so we will configure a replication between the Z oh, ZVM in uh, DR site and the production site. So we all look in, uh, in, in, in in next steps. So this is the requirement. We need a vCenter, a ESXi box and a couple of virtual machines which you want to protect it in uh, in a DR. So, like, uh, so same thing. So let's go to our lab so this is a windows box in production where uh, i'm installing a, a zerito installer you can uh, log into zerito site and you can register and get a free uh, f free demo version so you need to click on uh, the installer and uh, you can uh, see here like uh, this includes the following components like a uh, Zerito virtual manager which is called ZVM and uh, VRA which is uh, a OBF deployed and ESXi boxes on both sides and uh, Zerito user interface uh, and everything once uh, 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 you need to click next uh, see here if you can see the recommendation Zerito recommends installing the Zerito virtual manager and which on separate computers so we don't re recommend to do it on a uh, vCenter windows vCenter server okay so we don't have windows vCenter now but uh, this is uh, somewhat uh, previous for previous versions when you click next uh, and accept the license and uh, click next this is the path and uh, click next and uh, if you are using a production with uh, uh, like uh, some some uh, uh, customized port connections port numbers and uh, from advanced uh, users uh, users and cloud services providers production you will be going for this or else we can go for uh, express installation so click next you need to give the host name uh, that is uh, our vCenter name and password So our production vCenter uh, IP is uh, 2.168.11.10. So username is uh, administrator. And we'll give the password. And uh, you need to give the uh, site name this is our production so you give production site 
and I will leave default and click next so uh, if you see here uh, online service and Zeta mobile application so these are uh, uh, like you can just go through it and enable online service and Zeta mobile. we'll keep it as it is and click next so now it's uh, it's failed because we have given a credentials uh, wrong credentials so let me check back check and come back a given wrong one it should work now So all are okay, so results are okay, so just click run. So this is pretty simple. So we need to do the same simultaneously on our DR site where we need to build a Windows uh, 2019 box and on that we are installing uh, Zerito replication software, uh, Zerito 9.0 software. So <coughs> If you see here it's deploying a SQL Server 2014 so if it is production uh, you can use uh, your own uh, SQL box So, uh, like I'm not going to show it on a DR site, so this will be the same. So, once this is done, we'll be browsing the uh, URL for production and DR, DR site uh, for Zerto, as well as we will also look at uh, vCenters and uh, we will go through few steps to replicate the uh, replication for a few VMs and uh, uh, we'll uh, we'll we'll do on that uh, lab in next video. So I will pass the video and once it is done, we'll come back. So installation is completed and you are able to see that uh, installation is finished uh, uh, for a Zerto Virtual Manager and it's done. You can open the manage interface by selecting this and click done. So. Now installation is done and it's asking for the browser, default browser. So this is the Zerito console. Uh, so it uses port 9669 that is the default port so it will take some time to load so <clears throat> this is pretty simple uh, installation process so just click click next so nothing complicated so to now uh, for Zerto virtual machine uh, you need uh, a minimum of uh, 2 CPU and a minimum of 4 GB RAM and 20 GB of hard disk uh, and uh, you need to install .NET Framework 4.2.4.7.2. Uh, uh, so with this all, you can uh, uh, deploy a Zerto virtual machine that is ZVM. But in production, if it if based on the workloads, uh, uh, you may uh, you may uh, configure with a high CPU and high memory and high uh, like a more space. Uh, this is a lab test lab, so we are just uh, providing some uh, low resources so that's all for this video and uh, we will look uh, at the, our dr site and uh, dr uh, dr site uh, dr zvm that is Zelta vm and uh, production vm we will log in and uh, we will look at it uh, thanks for watching and uh, for any suggestions and queries reach out to me on uh, vstudentblog at gmail.com and uh, please do subscribe and uh, like my videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.